Good morning, campers. Welcome back to Microsoft Flight Simulator. We're still at Jackson Hole Airport. It is, I think it's snowing a little bit here, actually, at the moment. Uh, we'll check the weather once we get, uh, once we get this airplane started. We're borrowing a, uh, doot. Okay, good, that, that stayed. We are borrowing somebody's Cessna 152 for a little bit of sightseeing while we are in the area. So let's get this plane started. Can I have a checklist? We are on live weather. Yes. Yes. Excellent. And I would like a checklist for starting engine. Fuel shut off valve. Seems important. Check. Check. Brakes are good. <laughs> And that is excellent. Starting engine. Mixture, full rich. Actually, I don't think I want it full rich because we are at 6,000 feet. What's that? That's not enough. <laughs> What's each press of this do? Okay, so some as low as 1%. That's good. Let's do 69 seems good. Uh, carburetor heat cold check. Prime. Okay, so this engine hasn't been running in a bit, so let's... There we go. Check. Throttle half an inch. Check. Master switch on. Battery. Beacon ignition. Sounded like a good start. Yeah, it's a good start. Let's get the alternator on, nav light on. Check. Ignition start, check. RPM. I want it right at a thousand. Check. Oil pressure. Ge uh, getting to the green. Not quite there yet, but it's getting there. Check. And lights are already on. Excellent. Perfect. Okay, so let's get a light on in here so I can turn off the headlamp. Perfect. Sit back in the seat. Let's see if we can't get ourselves uh, some ATIS. Do, 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 ding. Okay, no ATIS, got it. Good to know, good to know. Mm -hmm. All right, one, two, two, four, five, four, ground. I want to try and learn the radio stack in this plane. All right, so no, we're going to set that to standby. Uh, one, two, two, sorry, one, two, four, five, five. Four, five, five, ding. Oh, I did five, five, five. Whoops. Fixed it. Taxi to depart south. Ground Cessna, November. Juliet Hotel, one, five, two, ready to taxi south departure with Echo. I don't have Echo, but okay. Cessna, November. Juliet Hotel 152 taxi to in hold 
short runway, one niner using taxiway, Alpha Cessna 152. One one oh come on. One one eight zero seven. Okay, does anyone else not see this moving at all? What the heck? What on earth? Can I change this one? That one works! <laughs> uh, that's an interesting bug. Alright, I guess we'll be using this for our comms then. That's fine. <laughs> Alright. And then that was 5-5. Five, five. Alright, so. That's Jackson Ground. That's Jackson Tower. Perfect. Alright, and then we'll go ahead and set this for... Well, let's just see if this one works. Okay, that one works. Does this one work? That one works. Okay. Very strange problem. That's a nav receiver. Alright, I need a comm. Okay, and then guards one, two, one, five. Actually, honestly, uh, I would rather have that be on the tower. Yeah, perfect. Then we'll set this one for. Nope, that still doesn't work. Right. <laughs> Alright, can I have that one on ground? And then this one is the one that works? Yes. Okay. Apparently there's a frequency that pilots are required to monitor while in the air. So we're going to have that as the one that we're on once we're above the ground. And then this one's just for talking to other planes, which I doubt we'll be using, but... Yeah. Hmm. Yep, no clue. Uh <laughs> there's zero indication of anything I'm doing. What is this button? Oh, I really wish this had some more explanation to it. <laughs> oh well. Alright, let's get ourselves over to the runway. Taxi light on. Pedo heat on. It was snowing a moment ago. Got no weather. That's fine. So as for what we're doing today, uh, that is Jackson... Oh, does this have a uh, recent AWOS on it by any chance? They do that on here, don't they? I could have sworn they showed a recent, uh... Recent meet up oh, there, there we go. Meetar. 250, 15, gusting 21. Ooh, that should be an interesting takeoff. 250 is like due west. 4,500 few broken, 7,500. Yeah, we should be fine. Oh, sorry. What we're doing today, just going on a little scenic tour of the area around here. Places I really like driving and want to see how they look from the air. So we're going to fly south towards Jackson and then we're going to fly over Teton Pass, which is 8,431 feet at the, at the uh, summit of the pass. So we have to be above that. We're going to go for about 9,000. And we'll fly over to Victor, Idaho. 
over here to Swan Valley, meet up with US 26 and US 20, I think. Uh, and then we'll fly down toward the Palisades, follow the Snake River all the way back to Jackson. And that should be that. That's the plan. Let's get our butts over. All right. Parking brake. There it is. Uh, trim, take off. Hello, person. So I've attempted to record this once already today, and the game crashed as soon as I was crossing. Oh, we're not going to runway 1, we're going to runway 19. Which is the correct runway, so, you know, it still works. Um, as soon as I crossed Teton Pass, uh, the game crashed. So we'll see if that happens again. Hopefully not, but, you know, sometimes. Sometimes this, this thing is weird. Please stay on the yellow line. Luckily, these little lights are not actually present <laughs> in the game because we're running over several and they tend to be in the middle of taxiways rather often. Like there. <laughs> Bump, bump, ba bump, ba bump. We are going to be returning right back here once we are, uh, once we finish our little loop. So we're going to be able to just leave these frequencies as they are set currently. I just do want to get off the ground before it really starts snowing quite a lot. Not that I'm expecting a ton of snow, but you know, don't want to be caught off guard, you know? Note to self, drone camera does not allow me to control a plane. <laughs> Stay on the yellow line. Now you might be wondering why I'm going to the far end of the runway to take off, and that's because of a simple rule that is repeated often by actual pilots that I watch on YouTube, and that's that there's no use in runway that's behind you. So why why take away your options by starting from an intersection? You can, like, you know, that's a thing that is allowed, but you should leave that for uh, situations where, like, if you've got a jet that's ahead of you in line and the tower gives you an option to take off from an intersection ahead of the jet so you don't get hit by the engine blast, that's a thing you should do. All right, we're gonna just pull over here to the right for an engine run up. All right, that should be directly into the wind, assuming that AWOS that we saw earlier was right. So let's zoom out a little bit from this so we can see our mixture lever. Goose that to about 2,000 RPM. 
I should probably just set the parking brake for this instead of holding my feet down. There we go. Okay, let's zoom out again. And start backing off on the mixture. I do have that I do have that turned on, right? Assistance. Yeah, cool, we're good. All right, so that should be, uh, it looks like we we're actually pretty close to, uh, all right, so 57 is probably best mixture. Let's bump that up about 10% just to keep the engine running nice and cool. And cool, we will lean that off as we accelerate. Let's call the tower and let them know we're ready. Jackson Tower, Cessna, November, Juliet Hotel, 152, ready at runway 19er, south departure. Cessna, November, Juliet Hotel, 152, cleared for takeoff runway 19er, departure to the south approved. Excellent. Cleared for takeoff runway 19er, Cessna, 152. Okay, we're going to pull up to the stop line. We got our clearance to take off, which means we stop here and we switch our transponder to altitude. We switch our lights, strobe, landing, taxi off. Double check our trim. Excellent. We already leaned. And uh, where's, yeah, we double check our fuel. Okay, that's that thing. Good. Perfect. That should be a set. Let's take off. And we're gonna do no flaps on this takeoff. We don't need them. This plane takes off well enough without them. Useful for landing, though. Line up on the numbers. Full throttle. RPM in the green. Fifty, rotate. Airborne. Stay in the ground effect. Use trim to climb out. All right, we want to climb out about 500 feet per minute. Go ahead and close the uh, ATC there. Excellent. Ooh, that was a really sudden loss of power there. At that altitude. Fascinating. Oh, let's uh, tap the B key just to get my barometric. Well, oh, nope, that's not it. There we go. Get the altitude correct. 
since we couldn't get the uh, ADAS to work, use the cheat button. I don't know what our best climb is in this plane. All right, so we're going to keep flying south. We've got those mountains off to our right that are kind of a, a big block on us getting over into the Idaho side of this little tour that we're going to do. So we need to keep flying south until we get to Teton Pass, uh, which we should be able to cross at about 9,000 feet safely. Uh, the summit of the pass is about 8,500, a little less. We'll squeeze through there. We'll try and stay above ground, but... Or we'll try and stay uh, more than 500 feet above the ground. It's not a populated area, so we can get within 400 feet and be okay, I think. I forget the exact rule on that. but we do need to keep climbing. Excellent. Three, two, one. Jackson Tower, Cessna, November. Juliet Hotel, 152 frequency change. All right, now we can switch over to the air to air communications. And let's just tap the both button again, just to, on the off chance that that's functioning. Want to be able to listen to both. Let's check outside. So there's the airport off behind us, US 20. Uh, I think this is US 20. Not entirely sure. A little dark out here today because of the clouds. Just keep an eye on my climb. I do like this external view, it's very good and helpful for this stuff. Oh, there's US-20. Oh, uh... No, I don't think that's our... I don't think that's our, uh, our pass there. I think the pass is further down this way. I think, actually, yeah, I think that's it there. You can see the where it's cut into the side of the mountain. Let's get back inside. And start angling toward the pass. Coming up on 9,000 feet. There we go. Let's bring our throttle back a little. And trim us out to be nice and level. There's our pass. Sure doesn't look like we're going to get through that at 9,000, does it? <laughs> well, for one, we have to keep ourselves at 9,000. We're down to 8,900 already.
I'm just gonna zoom out here. Uh, trying to take a nice relaxed, uh, relaxed stance for this flight and keep my feet on the rudder pedals pretty much the whole time because this there's no autopilot in this. So there's Jackson down below us. We do have to actually like fly the plane. <laughs> there's nine thousand. This is going quite well. We are going to let it keep climbing a little bit. That's fine. That's good enough. Try and counter the uh, slight roll that the wind is giving me here by using the rudder pedals a little bit. So, this is actually really dangerous road down here. Uh, you can see there's a truck escape ramp here in the side. So if you're thinking about that, downhill is coming this way. We drive on the right side of the road in the USA. So trucks going to that escape ramp had to cross oncoming traffic to get into it. Luckily, that escape ramp is no longer uh, in use and has been replaced by, it's a little hard to see, but there is another escape ramp on this side. It is a very fancy escape ramp. It is a uh, arrestor cable escape ramp. So it's a series of cables strung across the road, and the trucks go into it and just like tick 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 and slow down, like a, like on an aircraft carrier. There's two of those on this grade, at least. Two that I know of, which I think there's should be another escape ramp down below us somewhere. There's yeah, there's multiple escape ramps. Yeah, there's there's the other one. So the other, uh, the other cable ramp's probably right around here somewhere. Possibly a little bit higher up on the hill. Not sure, but it's a very treacherous road. This road's actually weight restricted most of the time at 66,000 pounds because so many of the heaviest trucks would, uh, would have runaway issues. Ooh, easy on the climb here, buddy. We don't need to be going that high. trying to fly with my feet as much as possible. I need to get better at using the rudders. So it's just I've got a trim wheel on my throttle because I use the uh, Thrustmaster T16000 Hodas uh, is what I got before this game came out, thankfully. They're like impossible to get now. <laughs> but that is what I have. There's the summit. That's good. This was uh, originally a wagon, uh, wagon trail, so you can imagine how treacherous that must have been. And this is where the game crashed last time I, did, I tried this. So happy to see it hasn't done that yet. We're going to keep flying over this and head down to Victor, Idaho. I don't remember what elevation Victor's at, but we should be good to descend back down to like 7,500-ish. Now that we're over the uh, over Teton Pass, I believe that mountain to our right is Glory Mountain. Uh, let's see it from the outside view. One of these is Glory Mountain. I don't remember which one. Very spectacular from the road. <laughs> I forgot to adjust my lights once we were off the ground. Let's do, 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 make you go away. Uh, so I think that is going to be, no, we need our landing lights because we're still low, but we've got our strobe light off. Perfect. And if we turn off the, uh, oh yeah, we've got plenty of light to see by now. So we can turn off the cabin light. Excellent. Nope. Can't see again. 
<laughs> Dang it. Cabin light back on. I do have most of the lights on switches on my instrument panel here. My SciTech farming simulator side panel. Sorry, Logitech. I forgot it was Logitech now. SciTech got bought by Logitech. <laughs> So as you can see, road gets down into the valley there and heads out towards Victor, which is where we are going. Lovely, lovely scenery through here. Let's go ahead and start a descent by backing off on the throttle even more. Nice, gentle descent. No particular target in mind. We're just, you know, just kind of cruising out here for some sightseeing. Got that classic Cessna high wing out our left window. Uh, we are descending much too fast. Oh, have we... Killed the engine, is that what we did? Got it. <laughs> Mixture control. <laughs> uh, remember to rich as you descend, lean as you climb. I'm not great with mixture yet. <laughs> As you can see by the fact that I almost just crashed the plane. Oh, well, there's the problem. Something keeps pushing the uh, the mixture to full forward. I'm having some very unusual control problems lately in this game where, like, yeah. If you watch this mixture lever, it keeps being pushed to full forward. I don't know why. Take over. Nope, you do not get to fly. Okay, so that didn't go great. What is happening? It's like yesterday I was having uh, all of a sudden my airplane on the Japan tour just started um, just started killing its own avionics <laughs> anyway there's Victor Idaho lovely little town which means that we should find ourselves a highway going off this direction that will get us over to Swan Valley.
once we get over to Swan Valley... We can pick up US-20 and the Snake River again. That ought to be decent. I think I have a button that just goes automatically best mixture. Yeah, 53. Got it. I wonder if the fact that I didn't have, uh, that I had auto mixture on was the reason that it always went to like 9% for best mixture. Are my radios off? Look at that. Look, you just saw that again, right? the heck game I really need you to just like not be doing weird things to my airplanes while I'm flying them please like the game's trying to kill me. Uh, did my avionics get turned off somehow? No, that's all still on. Hmm. A little bit of wind there. Let's zoom out the camera. Get that off to the side. Just in case it's some kind of mouse issue is what's going on there. But I suspect it may in fact be keyboard related. Now that it's happening on more than one plane. Why is my... Look, yeah, you saw that, right? Interesting. So it appears to be tied to me attempting to uh, mess with the camera. Again. Really love if the uh, ghost in the plane would stop throwing my mixture to 100%. <sighs> would be uh swell wrong button Just watching that mixture knob like a hawk <laughs> I right, still got the highway below us I think I see our swan valley opening up up ahead I wasn't expecting this to be such a long flight, but I guess I did pick a nice slow airplane for it, didn't I? <laughs> uh, double check our fuel quantities real quick. Oh dear. I forgot to add fuel to the plane. Dude. Oh, look at that. We remembered to add fuel to the plane. <laughs> so the, uh, the game kept resetting the flight, and every time it would reset the fuel to 50%. So I just put it back to, uh, just put it to 75% starting fuel, at least, so that should be better. Hmm. Super annoying that it always sets you to half full of fuel every time you uh, reset the flight.
doot. That was me turning the lights off there. It's all fine. Everything's fine. Do not open window above 143 knots indicated airspeed. Oh. I needed that sticker on that other plane. <laughs> Why are these radios off? That's interesting. So maybe that's whatever bug we were having yesterday is still going on if it killed my avionics. Hmm. I'm exceptionally curious as to what could possibly be the reason for that. Well, I attempted to use the uh, the button that I have mapped for the avionics to get them back on, but that doesn't seem to have worked. Ah, there we go. Swan Valley, that'll be the Snake River up ahead of us. And Palisades Dam off to our left. Excellent. I'm not using any uh, any instruments for this. I'm just navigating off of memory and from having driven these places. That highway we just flew down, if you are uh, over... <sighs> Please stop. Game, I would really love it if you would stop putting the mixture to full. <laughs> Uh, is so not a problem I expected to be having today. <laughs> what is going on? It's not the Xbox controller. That's not even plugged in. I just got no clue what it could possibly be that's causing that to happen. Everything's plugged in right. The external hard drive's not. Fixed it. Maybe that's part of the issue? I don't know. No idea. But yeah, anyway, US-26 should be down here. And it is one of the most beautiful roads in the country. Can you please stop that game? Just gotta keep an eye on it, cause like, like I've got a co-pilot that's trying to kill me. <laughs> See again. Okay, I can't find any consistency to it. I'm so confused. I'll have to like Google this and see if anyone else is having similar problems. Oh, that's annoying. Every time I look left, it uh, resets. 
the camera. Unless I use this stick. Yeah, decent chunk of America's food supply grown in these valleys up here in this part of Idaho. Especially if you like eating potatoes. A lot of sugar beets up here. That's what I used to pick up was uh, sugar beet byproducts. Up in this vicinity, Rexburg, Victor. Sugar City, obviously. That was happening on takeoff as well. Oh. Okay, that's why it seemed like at that one sudden at that one altitude I just suddenly had no power. Hmm, that might be what was happening there. I'll have to go in and check my controls, make sure nothing got uh, nothing got messed up with that. Ah. Gotta love the uh, gotta love the ghost co-pilot trying to mess with you. Oh, I just yep. Really gotta stop doing that. I'm so used to using the hat switch to. Uh, flick between the different views but it just doesn't have a great view out the front of this plane can you stop please like swat the ghost hand away from the away from the control outside for a moment. Alright, so you can see up here there's a very large dam that's uh, blocking up a river further up the, uh, blocking up the Snake River further up this valley. And then just tons of, there's like a big RV park right here and campgrounds and stuff. And then the road itself climbs up the uh, ridge line here. And then this reservoir is a gigantic lake that fills this entire valley. It's very cool, it's very beautiful. It's a very dangerous uh, bit of road because it's just, it's narrow and there's nowhere to pass and there's a lot of tight turns and some people just go flying through it, like, like you expect. Interesting that the uh, co-pilot doesn't mess with the mixture while we're in the outside view. It's good to know. So weird, right? Coming up on 50 minutes into this flight. And this might be a two-parter. Yeah, what the heck. Let's call it a two-parter here. I will see you guys in the next part as we make our way back to Jackson, Wyoming. I wasn't expecting this to be such a long flight. Well, I will leave you guys with this lovely view of the Palisades Dam. I will see you guys in the next part. Thank you so much for watching. 
Have a great day. Uh, find me on the internet at Elio Dare, uh, Xbox Live, Steam, Nintendo Switch, etc. Come say hello in the comments as well. I do read all of those because they're still a tiny channel. Thank you so much for watching. And have a great day.